Hello and welcome friends to 5 minutes engineering with this video we are going to start understanding array operations one by one and now in this video to start with we are going to understand the traversal operation with a real life relatable example okay let me give you the idea of traversal operation okay with this example let's consider this is a very big huge land okay and on this land you can see some of the houses are constructed like these okay this way two three and let's say four like this okay initially only four houses are being constructed on this particular land and they are numbered like one two three and four like this is the house number one two three four like that okay and now let's assume a situation where you are living in this house number one okay and you have some good news let's say you have passed the exam okay or uh, more happier than that would be like you have uh, got your degree or let's say more happier than that would be like you know you got a job okay whatever reason of your happiness you have you want to you know kind of spread that happiness in your neighborhood and the best way to do is is by informing the news to them the happy news to them and distributing the sweets with them sharing the sweets with them all that thing you want to do it now so what you do you just come out of your house with a box of box filled of you know sweets and you just go and visit one by one your neighborhood means the house number two three and four like that let's say okay now you go into the house you just meet those people in that house tell them the news give them the sweets and just take your way out of that house okay then you go to the next one in that house you do the same thing you repeat the same thing you share the news you give them the sweets and you come out of the house like this okay and then the remaining one is the last one in your neighborhood so you go you do the same thing give them the news give them the sweets just come out and that's it okay so what you basically did here is nothing but a traversal you visited each house once and gave them sweets and you just came out okay i hope you got this simple point and that's what the similar thing or behavior you are going to see in array also that means traversal traversal means what if we consider here an array okay and here are some elements at index 0 1 2 3 and 4 like that let's say okay so what you are trying to do here is that you are going to visit each element in that array once you are going to visit each element in that array once like you visited the array at uh, array element at index 0 then at the respective index 1 the array, array element at index 2 array element at index 3 array element at index 4 like that so this this particular this particular behavior that is being shown up here this is nothing but what we call it as a traversal operation simple traversal procedure that we have seen it here okay and one more thing that regarding the array i would like to add here is that there are two terms one is called as a max and other is a size okay what do you mean by that what do you mean by that so if you see here one two three four five so here let's say max equal to five and here one two and here the size equal to two i hope you got the point okay what these terms means you just got it from this respective diagram so if this is an array named a you can see what the max represent max means the maximum capacity maximum capacity of the array a to accommodate the element so what's the maximum capacity what's the maximum number of elements that can sit up into your array named a so it's equal to one two three four five so only five is the maximum capacity let's say in this particular case and what is the size what do you mean by the size size means what actually how many elements are sitting up in your array actually what's the count of or what's the number of elements that are sitting up in your array so it's only one and two so there are only two elements in your array so we are just defining it as a two so this is the one thing that you should know and this is kind of a prerequisite thing for understanding the further upcoming videos and the concepts okay so this one is clear basically let me tell you an interesting fact that this traversal operation is not at all new to you you definitely have used this operation when you are trying to let's say print the elements of array so you would have done this thing so let's say you are using a for loop okay and there is like i equal to zero i less than n okay i plus plus like that and here you are simply using like printf okay and here you are let's say the uh, what's the name a okay so a of i and the things are getting printed like this okay so basically what we are trying to do here or achieve here pretty simple we are going to each and every element visiting here like starting with the index 0 okay going here whatever the element is that we are simply trying to 
print that element that's it that's what we are trying to do but the next question that arises that in traversal operation up till what point we have to go up till what point we have to visit or give a visit so we can understand the answer of that particular question with this real life scenario as i said this is a very big land okay this is very big land let's say it can accommodate maximum of maximum let's say 100 houses so maximum for this land is equal to 100 houses means it can accommodate 100 houses 100 houses can be constructed but now if you see there are only four houses so what's the size what's the size it's equal to four only four houses are constructed 96 remaining houses will be constructed because there are there is a space on that particular land for 100 because that's the maximum capacity okay so if you have to give sweets, let's say, okay, let's say you are not uh, respectively living in this house, okay, you are not living in this particular house, you are coming into this particular land to distribute the sweets to the houses, one, two, three, four, okay, in this way. So what you will do, you will go to house one, give the sweets, two, give the sweets, three, give the sweets, four, give the sweets, correct? But will you go for house number five? Why you will not go for house number 5? Because there is no house number 5 yet constructed on this particular land. Okay. And here in this situation, giving sweets is nothing but printing the element. I hope you are finding this analogy relatable. Okay. What's actually happening? So basically you are visiting house number 1 means you are visiting the index number 0. And then you are giving the sweets means whatever the element that is present in this respective index will be printed out. Then you are going ahead. You are moving ahead to the next index to the next house then you are coming in and then you are giving sweets then you are printing simply you can say and then the next element of the array will be printed but this will be just working till the house number four because because till now this point it is being constructed but there is no house number five in this situation if you see this is blank index number two three and four there is nothing in that there is no element there is no array element present in that so we are not going to traverse this particular portion we will be just focusing on this part when we are performing traversal operation on array